Today I'm breaking down Skate State's first attempt at Nolly's video that he recently posted. He doesn't know I'm doing this, but I'm gonna show you what he's doing right, what he's doing wrong, and give a few extra tips to help you guys get your Nolly down quick. Let's go. What's up all my skaters? Welcome back to the channel. If you love watching beginner skateboard videos that are actually beginner friendly, then hit the like button because you're in the right place. Now I've been planning to make a how to nollie tutorial for quite a while now. I just haven't got around to it because I haven't been skating. But then I saw Skate State's video recently about his first attempts trying to nollie. Oh, oh baby. And it was a great video. He's got a lot of good points that he starts with and I'm gonna help out with some things that can maybe help him progress as well. Now again, he doesn't know I'm doing this. Hopefully he finds it. Hopefully it helps him and it helps you guys. Guys, if you watch this once you're done viewing it, if it helps you, leave a comment below. Just nolly. Just the word nolly if this helps you in any way. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the title of his video is First Time Trying to Nolly and While Rolling. So he's on to something there. You can't nolly if you don't have any kind of feel for a switch ollie. Which is why I was glad to see the first thing he did was work on a switch ollie. But it's the same thing as trying to fakie ollie without knowing how to do a regular ollie. Right, you're not gonna try fakie if you don't know how to do it standing still, which in the still position is a normal ollie. Come over here, I'll show you what I mean. So to really drive home what I'm talking about, this is a standing still ollie for me. If I move my feet forward, it actually then becomes a switch ollie. Now again, regular ollie. Give myself a push here, I'm rolling. That regular ollie becomes a fakie ollie. Now same thing, switch ollie. If I start rolling, it becomes a nollie. Take a look at one more angle here. So this is a fakey ollie coming forward. There's a nollie. Now slow motion, it's not the best nollie, but gives you an idea of what's going on. One important takeaway that you need to make note of, with a regular ollie, you're just pushing straight down with your back foot and you're sliding your front foot forward. Well, that's because with an ollie, you're moving forward. So as you go forward, there's less friction. You're sliding against it in the way you're going. With a fakie ollie or a nollie, there's gonna be more friction because you're popping down into the direction that you're rolling. So that's one reason why if you're standing straight up or you pop, if you push straight down, you're gonna fall forward. Let me show you. All right, so you notice there, if my body was more straight, like it would be if I was gonna ollie or switch ollie, I'm pushing straight down on the nose or tail, whether it's nollie or fakie ollie. What that does is it puts a dead stop on my weight and momentum because again, I'm moving forward. There's no room for the nose to slide forward. So it makes me just fall forward. So watch this now with leaning back just a little bit. And it's not even that I'm leaning back, I'm kind of pushing down and forward with my front foot as I go to pop. So I'm pushing out and down and not just straight down. Now, a lot of new skaters think that nollies and fakie ollies are scary. And a lot of that is because of the fact, again, they're trying to pop straight down just like they would with a normal ollie, which is making them fall forward. So the fear part is afraid of probably falling forward and eating it. If you push down and forward or forward and down, that will alleviate that fear because you're giving less friction on the ground and your board and able to keep the board moving forward as you move forward. It's almost like you're trying to bone out an ollie, but I promise you it's a lot easier to make your nollie and fakie ollie look bone because by nature, they have to look boned, right? Otherwise, you're not gonna pop them. Now, another common issue is not really popping down with your front foot, you're jumping evenly with both feet. Everyone does this at first, especially when starting with ollies. This is no exception here. So you can see as he progresses, he starts to get more of a pop with that front foot, which is excellent. And I love his self-talk. I love how he's able to recognize when he feels that there's something he's doing better than he did before. Once you start getting that popping feeling, the next important thing is to not forget to slide your back foot. You can see here, his back foot doesn't move at all. 
So you're not gonna get the popping and height if you're not sliding it, just like you with an ollie. Now check out my nollie here. You can see my back foot, I turn it on my side and I'm sliding it back up. Even if it's not a big slide, it's still sliding. Now here on my fake ollie, you can see it probably more, it's like a fake ollie better than a nollie. Now guys, I know I'm not very good at my nollies and I'm not very good at switch as part of the reason. That's something that I have on my list of goals to figure out and work on. So one thing that may help you is learning how to Chinese nollie. And that's something that I have in this video right here that can serve as a gateway into learning how to nollie. So if you haven't checked it out, check it out right here. You're gonna wanna do that.